Hello guys, it's Prinkeps Gaming, and here I am with the first episode of what I hope to be a long, arduous, and very entertaining Let's Play of one of my favorite RPG games of all time. Chrono Trigger. For those of you who haven't played this game, it's an old RPG game. Um, first came out, I think, 1995, uh, made by Square Enix. It was... It's most of the stuff that if you watch, play it through today seems repetitive and overdone. But back at its time, it was pretty revolutionary. It's a fantastic game. I cannot stress how good it is. Um, without further ado, let's get started. Um, new game, of course. And so um, right now it's telling us to choose the game mode. I'm doing the playing the DS version. So the first of the um, things is whether or not I want to do... It's going to have um, upper screen or bottom screen. I'm going to be doing this primarily on the... Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do um, DS play. And so you guys are going to see what's going on up top. And that way, um, what's going to happen is more along the lines of... Um, you're just going to be able to see the action. You want to see me going through items and stuff because that's kind of boring. So we're going to DS. Uh, why you know work? There we go. Now we're on to battle mode. Um, so in battle mode, what it means right here is, like with other um, games of its era and with old RPGs, um, this is very similar to Final Fantasy IV in that after you use a turn in battle, um, there's a timer, basically depending on your character's stats, before he can attack again, or she. And so um, what this says is that time flows constantly. So when you go to, um, when you're scrolling through items or your magic, um, on which one you want to use, it, the enemy can attack you as well, and their timers will be charging up. Personally, I like wait. It gives me some time to breathe. I can strategize a little bit more, and I feel it's probably going to be better for this Let's Play. Last, and probably the least important, but simultaneously being very important, um, movie scenes unfold at key points during your adventure. These cutscenes, um, anime cutscenes, are brilliant. They're fantastic. Um, the reason I say it's not important because it's an automatic yes on my part to have them in here. They're going to be really fun to watch with you guys. And so without further ado, we move on to the um, character collection. Yeah, character selection screen. Um, it's getting a little bit cut off there at the bottom. But um, his name is Chrono. For the entirety of this LP, you get, I think, about five six seven characters um and you can ch change all their names if you wish i refuse to out of principle um i like their names the way they are they i felt they're they're what the games the original people gave to them and so i will honor that and i'm going to keep their names um i will not be changing them for any reason so he's going to be chrono and here we are Alright, so this is just a little bit of opening, um, not necessarily cutscene stuff, but stuff that the game intends for you to watch. Chrono. Chrono. Chrono, are you still sleeping? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Uh, I can't answer the question. Oh, yep, yep, here we are. Come on, sleepyhead, it's time to get up. I wanna. Ah. Dear me, I've forgotten how beautiful Lien's bells sound. Yeah, well, if I was a teenage boy, and bells were waking me up, I'd be pretty pissed off. I mean, because I am a teenage boy, and waking me up is... N I hate waking up to begin with. You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Or, or you know, I was sleeping. Just for excessive amount of time, just, you know, just normal people do that. Well, you better not let that giddiness get into get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. Bitch, please. I'm, I'll do what I want. Come on out now. Out of bed with you. Fine. Ugh. So, um... 
let me just briefly explain why I'm doing this, and I'm not going to continue with any of my... Or, let, let me just explain what I want for the channel. Um, right now, um, I'm starting actual Let's Plays. Because I was doing the Pokemon Nuzlocke's and the playthroughs and the um, showdown battles, and honestly, I wasn't having a lot of fun with it. Um, I thought they were getting kind of repetitive, and I didn't see myself, um, you know, because I... The problem that I have with the game is with Nuzlocke is that they I thought, thought they were going to get really repetitive, and they kind of were. And I didn't want to put you guys through watching repetitive gameplays. So I decided to um, kind of do a 180 and go back to one of my favorite games and play that for you guys. And hopefully um, you guys will enjoy this as much as I do. So the uh, this is going to be a pretty short episode. This is kind of just the beginning um, stages of the game. So we're downstairs. It's about time. By the way, you're going to go see who? Oh dear, what was her name? That young adventurous friend of yours. Um, so this is the another one of the characters you get to name. I'm not sure if this is going to be cut off or not. But her name is Luca. And I'm going to, of course, as I previously stated, um, keep her as is. Um, that's right, Luca. You're, you're going to stop by and see her new invention at the fair, aren't you? Uh, I don't know why not. Well, run along then, and be back before dinner. Okay. Okay, Mom. Does the cat get to come with me? Cat. Anyway, so... If you want to get started right uh, away on the, um... Progressing the storyline part of the game, you can. But I'm just going to show off this area a little bit. Um, on the world map, you're not going to run into any enemies. So you can run around as much as you want. Um... But if I wanted to, say, go into the Guardia for Forest, which I'll, I'll do just to, give, just to kind of show it to you guys. Um, this is Guardia Fortress. In here, you can run into enemies. And if you wanted to right now, you could get some easy e EXP right up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do that. Mainly because I don't, I don't want to grind off too early. I want to stay at a nice, consistent level with the rest of the game so that you guys can get like a true experience of what it's like playing through the game not some over OP guy running through um, doing absolutely nothing and so as you notice the music shifts right here um, there's some stuff we can do right here um, oh before that you know what I gotta explain something so the goal of this sorry about that I talked a little bit too close to the mic there the goal of this LP is to not necessarily 100% the game because I'm not gonna go and 100% through all the techs and all the bestiaries. I I might do, get all the techs. I'm not sure about that. And I'll explain what those are in later dates. But if you understand what I'm saying, um, I, 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 this is not going to be a pure 100% run. However, this game has multiple endings, depending on where you where and when you fight the main boss, the final boss. Um, if I really wanted to and I was dedicated enough, I could fight him pretty early on in the game, and I could be this could probably be maybe a 10 part series. Maybe even less, um, but I don't really want to. That's that's not why I'm here. I want to show you guys. I want to play through the entire game with you and get the quote-unquote best ending, the ending um, you have from defeating the mo the final boss at the appropriate time. And that way, you because the cutscenes and endings change as you fight the final boss at different periods. So I want to get the quote-unquote best, and um, that requires the longest amount of time going through and. Um, a series of side quests towards the end that have to be beaten. Um, I think there's actually like a good amount of them. So that's going to take up probably most of our time. But let's continue with playing. And over here we have the Mayor's Manor. I'm just going to go run through the basics of this town because I there, know there's some uh, equipment and such we can get. Um, sorry about the whole... Oh, there's a chest right there. What did this guy's got to say? Want me to share some sight? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I can tell you've got potential. You'll learn a number of skills or attacks as you fight more battles. Techs are attacks that utilize your weapons as well as your innate potential, but mastering them requires repeated practice and training. Keep at it. So that guy made a reference to were techs. Uh, does the box open? Oh, 100, bu yeah, 100 gold. Pretty good. So techs are basically magic in this game. Um, Want to learn about the types of status ailments? Yeah, sure. Um, certain enemies do annoying stuff. Poison will gradually, you know, classic. 
um, lower your HP slow, which is a bitch. I can't understate how annoying this one is. It lengthens the waiting time between turns. If you get hit with it, it can absolutely destroy you because if slow hits the right character at the right time, you can't do damage to an enemy because it takes too long for your turn to come around. And they'll get more hits in and you'll be in a lot of trouble. Then you have sleep. Basic RPG, you're out cold until you, um, someone hits you and you wake up again. Confusion, um, you can be, you know, you'll eventually you'll attack allies, which can be pretty bad, especially if you have a hyper-offensive um, party member, and they can do a lot of damage. Blind, um, it makes it harder to hit enemies, because you can't see, I guess. Lock, lock's annoying if it hits one of your magic-based party members. You can't use text, which is actually pretty bad. Stop. Also, horrible. It will mobilize you, meaning you, your turn will not progress. You, you, the waiting time between turns is lasts as long as stop does. That's pretty much it. The seller, these status ailments lower your defense as well. Yeah, so you'll take more damage the longer they use them. Use a panacea, a um, cure-all. That's what panacea means. And um, you will recover them automatically. No. Thank you. Um, thanks for that insight. So hold down the L button and R button to escape from battle. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. But that guy is also a pussy. Of course, he who runs away will never get stronger because A, he's a pussy, and B, he won't get XP. Uh, I'll explain the stats later. They're, they're pretty... They're basic stuff. Attack is attack, defense is defense, magic attack is magic attack, magic defense is magic defense. Um, stars in place of a number beside any attribute that they have reached its highest possible value. I've done that a couple times. It's actually a really cool feeling when someone's stats get maxed out. Um, so let me, I'm just going to talk to everyone because these guys kind of explain what's going on. Um, so I'll teach you the basics of battle commands. Sure. You, you may see, you, yeah, you may use, you may make the, you must, ah, must make the use of attack, tech, and item commands to defeat your enemies. In game mode is at the not really relevant. Basically, you attack people. Um, this is just kind of explaining the difference between the two modes. Nope, sorry. Mashing the A button. Um, and what does he tell us? Yeah, so this guy's going to tell us about what techs are. The range and effect varies between techs. Some attacks affect an area around the target, dealing damage to all enemies in the vicinity. For example, target this little beastie, and you will hit the neighboring monster as well, and since it's within its range. But if you target the one in the center, you can technically hit all three. So you, if you use your text wisely, you can take out an entire like, five sets of enemies using the right one. Next, there are texts that hit enemies along a straight line. Um, yeah. So these, it, it actually all depends on when you time. It, it's actually an interesting concept. When you time your tech, you can actually hit anywhere from like one to even four or five enemies. In this case, you see it'll go through three. You could target any one of them along the line, and all of them would still be effective. So that, I thought that was pretty cool, because it requires you to strategize and wait a little bit to see, hit as many enemies as possible. Um, so yeah, this all explains this basic line principle. Um, yeah, there's some that'll only attack like the farthest, like um, farthest along. It's kind of confusing. The third type of tech strikes enemies along the horizontal line. Um, one of my favorite techs in the game, a combo tech between Chrono and another character, does this, and it's very powerful, and you can do a lot of damage if you wait just to time it right. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, there's some that put you right in the middle. You can't use an attack like this if there are no enemies within range, but if they're all around you like this, then they will get surrounded and get absolutely hammered. So, I just kind of wanted to show, go into this room and tell you guys um, pretty much what's going on. Oh, look, there's another There's another chest. There's, there's another chest. I see it. I see it. You faded into the background on me. You can't do that thing. Obtain a potion. Um... Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me just pull that out. Let me pull up the menu real quick. Uh, yep. You can use the potion. Uh, I'm going to explain most of these things later. Yeah, potions for sure 50 HP. Much stronger than your classic Pokemon potions. Um, so that's the Mayor's Manor. Here's the market. We can buy some things if you want to. I think. 
visit our stall. Yeah, okay, right. Because uh, right now they're up in the party area, and so you could buy some weapons if you wanted to. Um, I don't really think it's the time and place to buy some right now. I might pick some up then, just because I'm um, when we fight later on. It'll probably happen maybe in the next episode. That girl Luca over there in the square was going on how she made the discovery of lifetime. Well, good for Luca. She's our friend. Something tells me I'm as happy now as I'll ever be. Well, that's kind of a good thing because you're happy, but it's also kind of a bad thing because you know you'll never be happier. Kind of a quid pro quo sort of thing. Uh, there's my house. I can see my house. Here we have an inn. Um, pretty basic thing. You can heal up here. Yeah, everyone... Right now, everyone's really just stoked about going to go see the fair. I'm just kind of showing off what's... Um, in about here. So, there's this thing right here. This box has been passed down for generations. Soon you manage to open it, you're welcome to the contents. The mysterious force seals it shut. So you're going to run into a bunch of boxes like those throughout the game. And you actually can't do anything with them for a long, long time. Let me repeat long. It's going to take a while. Uh, sure, I can spell... I can spare 10 G gold. Found a good amount. Another thing about this game is the music is absolutely beautiful. I really do love it. And so, um, we could go into Leon Square, but that's going to take some time, and I don't want to burden you guys with overly long episodes yet. So, uh, because we're in the world map, and as with all most past RPGs, the only place you can save is at designated save points in dungeons or on the world map. So we're going to save to the world map. Now we can access the arena. I don't we never really use those things. So, um, now we've saved. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll be on board with this new um, LP of mine. I'm going to have a lot of fun doing that, I can guarantee you. Um, if you really liked it, I highly doubt you will, just because it's the beginning of the game, um, and there's a lot of boring stuff we had to cover, how to fight, basic tech type things. But next episode, we're going to advance major storyline, and we should be getting into our first fights of the game. Um, yeah, so major storyline advancement coming up next time. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you'll stick through me, stick with me throughout this long LP. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, if you really liked it, hit the like button. If you wanted to subscribe, please do. Um, I can really use the support. If you really thought it was that amazing that you wanted to favorite, by all means, no one's stopping you. Um, I've been Princess Gaming. See you all later. Peace.